Is there anything else that Jenny and Dave, who represent the typical American, need to know to maybe shed some of that body fat? Number one, ultra-processed food is obesogenic. Now, if Jenny and Dave are under stress, if Jenny and Dave are under financial stress, if Jenny and Dave are under time stress, it's going to be really hard for them to turn away from ultra-processed food. So don't expect their weight to get any better no, no, until no, no. they fix their diet. The one thing I am very sure of is that if you keep eating the same shit, don't expect anything good to happen. But it's hard. It's very hard. Some practical types of things. The first thing is that when they go to the store, yeah. don't go hungry. Okay, love that. That's the first one. I make that mistake a lot. Right? The second thing... Why? Let's give some context there. Oh, because if they're hungry, all bets are off. They're done. Because they're more likely to reach for the bad stuff. For the bad stuff. Because the bad stuff's calling to them. And by the way, the bad stuff's on the end caps of each of the aisles of the grocery store. And in the middle? In the middle, well, uh, any if you've gone into the aisles, you've gone off the rails because that's where the ultra-processed food is. So shop around the outside. Which you have is to shop around the outside, which is where the real food is. The fridges and... The fridges and the produce and the meats and the dairy, okay? Mm -hmm. Not to say that there isn't, you know, ultra-processed food and sugar hiding in those places too, but if you've gone into the, you know, uh, standard, you know, aisles... Um, you know, that's where all the ultra-processed food is hiding. 